All right, it's just about time to start this uh, evaporator up. Probably this weekend, it looks like I'll be getting a, a good enough amount of sap to start boiling. So obviously we've got to get it cleaned out. So we need some soap and water and scrub and, and uh, get this uh, pan all cleaned out. Uh, this pan holds about almost 50 gallons, I believe. It was between 40 and 50 gallons, uh, if I remember correctly. It's a, it's a pretty good size stainless steel pan. It's just a flat pan. One of the things that I did last year was I just... I wanted to get this uh, pipe out of the greenhouse as quickly as possible. I was worried about heat rising up and messing with the plastic and stuff like that above it. And so I, uh, I just ran it straight out the wall. And that ended up being kind of a, a mistake because uh, it really was hard to get a draft started. Um, so the draft did start in the stove pipe, it would suck the smoke through and, and work properly. But what ended up happening was all these little cracks and crevices, I get a lot of smoke coming out of here. Uh, I get a lot of smoke coming out through the front and everything, because this thing isn't sealed up perfectly. And, uh, and so it just didn't draft very well. So we're gonna use, I've got some 90s here and uh, I've got some extra stove pipe left over from our um, indoor stove installation. So I'm gonna cut this off here. We're gonna do some kind of a, a 45 or 15 degree or something like that up to here. And then on the outside, we'll go straight up. I'm gonna try to use just the single wall pipe that I have here um, in the inside. And then on the outside, I'll use a combination of some single wall and some double wall. Um, stuff that I found around here when we moved in, it was like a pile of junk back in the woods. I pulled out some stove pipe and stuff and reused that. So, um, but it works and it worked, uh, worked just fine last year. This is not the permanent home of this evaporator. Uh, actually, I was supposed to have my sugar shack built by now, but I'm a little behind this year. so. I'm just gonna set it up temporarily in here this year, and then next year we'll have it moved out into the new shack that will be devoted entirely to uh, just maple syrup. For those of you following along, I've got my uh, PEX pipes buried over to the uh, little uh, raised bed here. I've got the fan mounted there, and so I just need to get some plastic and build some hoops, and, and then we'll start planting that here pretty soon. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna separate this half of the greenhouse from the end here where the maple syrup is because what happens is I have to have these exhaust fans running at full blast to get all the steam out of here and I don't want to suck cold air in here all the time uh, while I'm trying to exhaust the steam. So I've got this roll of plastic, just a, a cheap roll of uh, Ace Hardware plastic um, and I'm gonna try to tuck it in to this uh, the, one of these hoops here and just drape that plastic and staple it to the to the post as much as I can and uh, just bring it all the way down to the ground and then I'll put some cinder blocks and some dirt on top of it here and seal this off as much as I can. Make some kind of a doorway through the plastic um, that I can close and then that will kind of seal off or create a wall here so we're not taking the nice warm air out of the greenhouse space that I want to grow in and uh, we'll keep all the steam and moisture venting out right out the door uh, or right out the end here I should say. So. Got a little bit of work to do. I want to get this stuff ready to go. Uh, I don't want to be doing this on a day I got to collect sap. So uh, we'll get this uh, stovepipe rerouted, get this thing cleaned out, and get some plastic hung.
Well, we are up and running, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Fire's kind of dying down inside here, but uh, it's actually a lot better than it was last year. And man, once this thing gets heated up in here, it is just, it just, just boils some sap. But I'm gonna definitely do some patch work on this for this year. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you see I've got a little bit of smoke, you know, that'll come out the back right by the vent here. It's pulling it all back towards the back and so we've got some leaks and stuff like that. Not a big deal. Um, this area is always ventilated and it's just basically like being outside. So I'm not too worried about a little bit of smoke, but I'd like to, to seal this up. So I'll go ahead and grab some quick creed or some mortar or something like that. And we'll just come back and just patch up all these little cracks and run another little uh, ledge around here on the edge of the pan. and. But uh, the stovepipe uh, is working pretty good and drafting much better. The plastic ain't pretty, but it uh, should, should do the job of helping to keep this separated from the greenhouse. Stovepipe out, outside there is, uh, it, sure, it sure isn't pretty. Uh, but hey, for stuff that I found all around here, I can't complain too much. So I do have a couple uh, build videos on the cinder block evaporator. Um, and for those of you guys who are wondering, uh, worrying about the wood chips, this evaporator is, of course, a, a, a cinder block thick, and it's filled with dirt all the way to the top. Um, and so, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I may rake these wood chips away from the, the, the thing itself, but really it never should be running out here unattended. And once I get these little cracks and stuff patched up, it's, it's pretty safe. I mean, this is completely cool to the touch. I mean, it's a thousand degrees on the inside at least, and it's not even, you can't even feel any heat at all on the outside. So, so I've got the, uh, this is where the air actually intakes. It intakes underneath there. Those cinder blocks go underneath, uh, underneath the bottom of the fire. Um, and then this is just all, you know, I take these, these two bricks off to, to add wood to the fire. So it'd be nice if I had a door or something on it, but uh, maybe when we redesign the new one, rebuild it, we'll, uh, we'll put a door on it. And you don't, you don't have to have a pan like this. I mean, if you're looking to do this on your own this year, you can build a cinder block a box like this, fire box, and just use those warming pans. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to, you can get them on Amazon, the six inch deep ones, and uh, you can get those warming trays and just put maybe two, three of them on here uh, on the top between the cinder blocks, just design it you know, to fit those and it'll work great. I mean, you don't, you don't really have to have much. This is made completely out of cinder blocks. I didn't really buy anything but these blocks and I bought one bag of quickcrete when I put this together. It was very, very inexpensive to get going. This pan was given to me um, and uh, so, I, of course, I'm gonna be using this because I can hold, I can really run through a lot of sap with this thing. Well, it's had some time to cool down and uh, this thing is all boiled out and cleaned out. Just needs a couple rinses with the hose and we'll get some of that sediment out of there and this thing will be ready to go. So I use this little valve here to uh, drain the, uh, the maple syrup or the sap off uh, and I also use it when I'm cleaning it, but it doesn't get down right down to the bottom. Uh, it's about uh, half an inch off the bottom and also I've noticed since I fill this pan quite heavy, it gets a little bit of a divot kind of in the middle and so it tends to settle more towards the middle of this uh, pan 
And so what I end up doing is I create a siphon with a long hose and I just uh, take the hose and stick it right down on the bottom. That sucks this thing out, kind of like a vacuum cleaner, clean it all out real good. Make sure we get this thing 100% clean, and then we'll wipe it all out, make sure we get the rest of that uh, sediment out of there. And then when we boil the, the sap down, you know, I keep boiling it and adding to it and boiling it. I'm done. What I'm left with is a super concentrated layer at the bottom of this thing. And I'll do the same kind of thing. I use a food grade hose uh, tube and I siphon the uh, sap right out into a bucket and then we take that in and finish it off in the house. So this pan uh, really does work good. Today temperatures are uh, hovering right around 35 degrees, sun's out and the sap's definitely running. I've got just about every bucket I can find around here out on trees and it's uh, out there collecting sap. So tomorrow we'll get out in the woods, we'll collect everything that's out there, we'll bring it in and we'll start a boil. So I'll take you guys along for that. And although we didn't get our sugar shack built in time for this year, uh, it'll be ready for next year and this will work just fine for us this year. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video guys as always and subscribe if you want to follow along. Lots of maple syrup stuff uh, coming. Uh, that's just kind of the season we're in now and so we'll be looking forward to those things. Uh, surprise uh, purchase I'll be making this Sunday. Hopefully I can get it home, so I'll be looking forward to that. Some new equipment for the, uh, the farm here. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'll take you guys along as soon as I can get videos out for that. And uh, be looking for all kinds of good stuff. Coming. Gardening will be coming soon. We'll be planting this raised bed. Uh, going to be cranking things out here uh, over the next two weeks. So stay tuned for all those things. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.